Thank you guys for staying your true poetry warriors and you know, I'm gonna say like, yay you. Thank you for being here. Um, so Dean Young used to say, I, I was in a workshop with him and he said, you know, never say how many poems you have left because people are gonna start counting. But I'm just gonna take this opportunity to uh, do a call and response Trinidad style thing. And so we, five. So you have to count because if you don't count, I'm gonna lose count. So, it's five. <laughs> we'll, when we get to one, we'll see if we do the like, you know, three and three quarter poem. <laughs> so um, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, and I'm reading my book, which is called Difficult Fruit. And I like to say that that's fair warning for what's in here. The first poem is called How It Touches Us. It's a, it's an elegy for a, a classmate, which you'll hear about in the poem. How It Touches Us for Anjani Maharaj. Our teacher trembled at the board as she unraveled the snarl of events, exhaustion, a nap, the sickening realization. Our friend was in a coma. We gawked at lunchtime around Anjani's desk, shuddered at her calm as she loaded up the insulin, flicked the needle, and slipped it beneath her skin into its live blue tracks. I remember thinking I couldn't bear to live like that. But day after day, when her chair remained empty, I prayed she would come back to her body. Once we'd worked together on a project about the universe and its parts, planets, stars, atmosphere, black holes. I couldn't remember which of us had kept it afterward. The whole class went to the funeral. Young and somber in our crisp collars and dark overalls, we shuffled past the coffin where she lay white-faced and red-lipped as a doll. The pyre waited at the river, its rough frame wreathed like a wedding car with marigolds and loud red hibiscus. Our teacher said we didn't have to, but we followed her into the crowd gathered on the bank. The flyer, fire flung sparks like little stars. When the pundit lit the torch to the wood, her mother's wails rose first a tired thread, then heavier in thick tangled knots of grief. When her body moved, I was unafraid. I thought we would witness a miracle that she'd get up and walk through those flames, grinning. But the motion was mechanical, her muscles stirring as the tendons and ligaments contracted, a reaction to the heat. That was all, no act of God, no resurrection. Instead, the bang. Her skull shattering, no longer able to contain her brain as it expanded the awful realization that all laws of matter must hold true, that she was gone. So it's September, so I feel like I'm going to read my 9-11 poem. Um, I went to undergraduate in, uh, undergrad in New York City and left for Iowa just, uh, just before the towers fell and I saw places I worked in, people I love uh, in a really terrible state. And this is called Grief Etches It's Silver Into Our Days Singing. Um, I wrote it 10 years later, mostly because I'm a really slow writer, but also I spent a decade trying to find answers and realized there was just really, there were only questions. What do the living owe the dead? What tribute? What memory? What kingdom? What time? What flesh? What fiction? What will? What mourning? What missiles? What flag? What dust? What patriotism, what purging, what tears, what wick and wax and wavering light, what vigils, what sirens, what capital, what codes, what questions, what mercy, what protest, what burning, what God, what terror, what blood, what wrath, what drafts, what suicide, what occupation, what pipelines, what desert, what hate, what brotherhood, what target, what bomb, what dignity, what sacrifices to their lingering ghosts, what stakes to scorch the guilty, what 
guilt, what pleading, what prisoners, what speeches, what revolution, what marches, what jury, what freedom, what is left for us to give them, what constitution, what tower do you wait in, O oh, nation of martyrs, what anthem to salute you, what convoy, what genocide, what soldier, what search, what hidden silver, what hostage, what amber alert, what bare feet, what debt, what deliverance, what promises to be kept and which to be broken, what purpose, what redemption, what history, what ritual, what bridges, what answer, what love, what love, what living do we owe our dead?